In this module, we will focus on detailing the benefits of integrating Microsoft Dynamics 365 with other Microsoft Online Business Solutions. We will focus on integrations with Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, OneNote, Social Engagement, and wrap up the module by walking through the integration with collaboration solutions such as Skype for Business, Yammer, Office 365 Groups, and Microsoft Delph. Perhaps the most valuable integration to have with Dynamics 365 is the integration with Microsoft Exchange. Integrating Microsoft Exchange in Dynamics 365 allows users to track communication with customers and it also allows Microsoft Dynamics 365 to communicate directly with the outside world. Out of the box, Microsoft Dynamics 365 is not capable of email communication. It needs to rely on the integration with an email server to add that functionality. Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be integrated with Microsoft Exchange Online, on-premise, and even third-party POP3 SMTP servers. Since this course is all about Dynamics 365, we will focus on the integration with Microsoft Exchange Online. Exchange Online provides mailboxes for users, which can be accessed from Dynamics 365. These mailboxes contain all of the communication users have with customers, amongst other things. Users will be able to track those interactions with a single click from the Microsoft Dynamics 365 client for Outlook or from the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. We will dive into more details regarding the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook later in this module. In addition to the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook client, data synchronized by the users will travel seamlessly between their Exchange mailbox to Dynamics 365 by using server-side sync which also enables a few great capabilities. Let me show you. The best way to integrate Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Exchange is to leverage server-side sync. Until a few versions ago, there were only two ways to integrate Dynamics 365 and Exchange, and these were the email router and using the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook client. As you can see here on the left, before server-side sync, we rely on Outlook to transfer information between Exchange and Dynamics 365, which means that Microsoft Outlook had to be running for this integration to work. Most users are not running Outlook 24-7, so sometimes we found ourselves in situations where automatic emails generated by Dynamics 365 wouldn't send for days, causing issues and inconsistencies. Now with server-side sync, Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Exchange communicate directly and there is no need for Outlook to be up and running for synchronization to take place. In a world where mobile devices are being leveraged more and more by users all over the world, having a solution that can allow users to work with tracked items from Exchange regardless of the status of Microsoft Outlook is a major advantage. Here you can see how a new item flows from being received in Exchange all the way to being tracked in Dynamics 365. First, the item is received in Microsoft Exchange. The user tracks the item from Microsoft Outlook and the item is marked as tracked in Exchange and all the clients that connect to Exchange, such as the user's mobile device. Exchange then, via server-side sync, contacts Dynamics 365 and requests an item to be tracked. Dynamics 365 acknowledges this request and tracks the item. It then contacts Exchange and provides an update regarding the status of the tracked item. Exchange then notifies all of the clients that the item has been tracked. At this point, the process of tracking an item in Dynamics 365 has been completed. Even though we have three synchronization methods, we are not limited to use one for both incoming and outgoing communication. They operate independently in Dynamics 365. For example, an organization can choose to have outgoing emails processed by server-side sync, but incoming processed through Outlook, where the users can click on the track button for the objects they want to track in Dynamics 365. For incoming items, we have four available options. None, Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Office Outlook, server-side sync or email router, forward mailbox, which is, by the way, an optional deployment where emails are forwarded from the user's mailbox to a central forward mailbox, and server-side sync or email router only monitor that single mailbox instead of all of the user's mailbox periodically. And for the outgoing items, we can select None, Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Office Outlook, or server-side sync or email router. Using server-side sync also gives us the opportunity to enable folder-level tracking. Folder level tracking is a functionality that allows users to track emails by moving the emails into a Microsoft Exchange folder. 
This process requires no Outlook client installation since the user is only moving an email into an Exchange folder. And this procedure is available in all mail apps on all devices. Folder level tracking follows a set of rules created by the user. This means that the users can control the behavior of the items and have the flexibility to control which folders they will use to track items, which ensures repetitive and deterministic results. The best part about moving emails into folders is that this can be achieved with exchange rules, which means that users can effectively track emails based on a condition automatically. For example, all of the emails coming from the Contoso.com domain should be tracked in Dynamics 365 regarding the Contoso account. Folder level tracking requires server-side sync integration between Dynamics 365 and Exchange. The folders to be used must be placed under the user's inbox. And finally, users have a limit of 25 rules they can create for folders inside their inbox. You can see here, for example, how the functionality will work from a mobile device with an email received and moved to the folder named Dynamics inside the user's inbox. The user can also accomplish this by creating an exchange rule that will move emails matching a condition into the correct folder. Once the email is moved into the folder, the email will be tracked in Dynamics 365 by server-side sync. As I mentioned earlier, users must create folder tracking rules that specify which inbox folders sync emails to Dynamics 365 and which records, if any, should the emails be regarding. For example, a user could create a folder inside of his or her mailbox called Opportunity X and create a rule that will sync all of the emails placed on that folder with set regarding pointed to a large opportunity in Dynamics 365. The important thing to remember here is that users can only create one rule per folder. However, the same record in Dynamics 365 can have multiple rules associated with it. For example, a user could create rules to say that whether an email is placed on the Contoso, Contoso Deals, or Contoso Support folders inside their mailbox, all of those emails will be automatically tracked into Dynamics 365 and set regarding the Contoso account. Another highly valuable integration is the integration with Microsoft SharePoint. SharePoint provides document, content, intranet, and extranet management and search capabilities. And SharePoint can be integrated with Dynamics 365 to show document management within Dynamics 365 records, which is a great way to introduce amazing document management capabilities that are native to SharePoint inside of Dynamics 365, but also to store documents outside of the Dynamics 365 database, saving precious storage space in the process. Integration is configured in the Dynamics 365 web interface at Settings, Document Management. It is important to note that permissions between SharePoint and Dynamics 365 are not synchronized. So before the integration is enabled, the Dynamics 365 system admin must have permissions on the SharePoint side, as well as the users that will be leveraging the SharePoint capabilities from within Dynamics 365. The integration between Dynamics 365 and Microsoft SharePoint is seamless and achieved via server-to-server -server integration. And all combinations of Dynamics 365 online or on-premise with SharePoint online or on-premise are supported. One of the benefits the integration with SharePoint provides is the ability to also enable the integration with OneDrive for Business. When users upload documents to SharePoint from inside Dynamics 365, every user with permissions on the SharePoint side can see the document. There are scenarios where documents uploaded to the cloud must remain either private to the user or only share within the subset of users within Dynamics 365. In order to accomplish this task, OneDrive for Business integration can be enabled so the users can upload documents to their personal OneDrive for Business account instead of the more public and open SharePoint. Uploading documents to OneDrive for Business ensures that the document remains private to the user. However, the user could share access to the document with other team members within Dynamics 365. Also, if the user has installed and configured the OneDrive for Business desktop application, documents uploaded inside Dynamics 365 to OneDrive for Business will appear on the user's desktop, which can improve convenience to the user. The requirements to link OneDrive for Business and Dynamics 365 are Dynamics 365 or Dynamics 365 on-premise, an Office 365 subscription, and of course, Dynamics 365 must be integrated with a SharePoint site.
Provided the requirements are met, you can enable OneDrive for Business in Settings, Document Management with just a few clicks. After OneDrive for Business is enabled, the OneDrive for Business folder settings link is shown in the document management. With this setting, you can change the folder in SharePoint where OneDrive files are stored. The default folder is CRM. OneDrive files are shown in the Documents Related Items area of Dynamics 365 records. A single list shows documents stored in OneDrive for Business and SharePoint sites. In this Related Items area, users can perform file operations to create new files, upload, edit, and delete files into check files in and out. Access to OneDrive for Business is controlled by the OneDrive for Business privilege on a security role. The privilege is found on the Core Records tab under Miscellaneous Privileges. The privilege has two settings, Granted, which is a green circle, or Not Granted with an empty circle. OneNote is used to capture ad hoc notes, which can be typed or hand-drawn in a way that is similar to using a paper project book. OneNote has been available as part of the Office Suites for many years. More recently, OneNote was made available in Office 365 and now it can be integrated with Dynamics 365. OneNote integration with Dynamics 365 means that OneNote notebooks can be associated with Dynamics 365 records. This integration is available for Dynamics 365 and Dynamics 365 on-premises. OneNote notebooks created via Dynamics 365 are stored in a SharePoint site and are meant for storing shared documents as opposed to OneDrive for Business, which is for storing private documents. To set up OneNote integration, SharePoint integration must be enabled. You must also enable document management and OneNote integration for each entity that will use OneNote notebooks. It is important to note that OneNote integration does not replace the Notes feature in Dynamics 365, which are still available to users unless access to these is removed inside security roles for all the users. For OneNote enabled entities, a OneNote tab is added to the activity wall. The notebook for the record is shown in the OneNote tab. If a record doesn't have a notebook, one is automatically created when the OneNote tab is clicked. Each record has only one notebook, which is shared by all the users. The two items in the OneNote tab in this screenshot, Meetings and Opportunities, refer to the section in the notebook and not separate notebooks. In short, Microsoft Social Engagement analyzes what people are saying on social media. Posts are evaluated to determine whether they are positive, negative, or neutral, and the evaluation can be used to spot trends about how people are feeling about your products or brand. Microsoft Social Engagement provides charts and graphs, including volume history, top languages, and maps that show where posts originate. You can use advanced filtering to view social data by source, sentiment, location, and in other ways. You can add data from Social Engagement to Dynamics 365 on dashboards and on forms for entities such as accounts. In order to integrate Microsoft Social Engagement with Dynamics 365, ensure there is an existing Microsoft Social Engagement subscription in place with users configured. With the confirmation completed, proceed to the Administration section within Settings to configure the integration. Once the admin goes through the wizard to complete the integration, the Social Engagement control can be added to Dynamics 365 forms and dashboards. Skype and Skype for Business are automatically configured to be leveraged in Dynamics 365 records. When you open Dynamics 365 records, such as accounts or contacts, you will notice that the phone number appears as a hyperlink, which upon being clicked, either Skype or Skype for Business can automatically dial the number. Administrators can set the preference regarding which application to use within system settings in Dynamics 365. Yammer is a cloud-based service that provides a private social network for organizations and can be integrated with Dynamics 365 and Dynamics 365 on-premise. Yammer Enterprise licenses are required to integrate with Dynamics 365. The free version of Yammer is not supported for the integration. You might be familiar with activity feeds in Dynamics 365, which is also a collaboration feature. After you integrate Yammer with Dynamics 365, activity feeds are no longer shown and they are replaced by Yammer instead. Here are the high-level steps to integrate Dynamics 365 with Yammer. In the Dynamics 365 web application, navigate to Settings, Administration, and then Yammer Configuration. 
log into the Yammer account and follow the instructions. It is important to note that the user performing this integration must be an administrator in Yammer Enterprise. Office 365 Groups is a relatively new feature in Office 365. Groups are shared workspaces for collaboration between Office 365 users and include inboxes, calendar, and file storage with OneDrive for Business. Groups can be integrated with Dynamics 365 to provide collaboration with Office 365 users that don't use Dynamics 365. For example, a sales team might be working on an opportunity that requires input from many people, some of whom don't have access to Dynamics 365. An Office 365 group provides a location to share documents and other notes. Here are the requirements to complete the integration with Office 365 groups. Besides having a Dynamics 365 instance, users within the group must have an Exchange Online mailbox and also SharePoint integration enabled to allow visibility to documents shared within the Office 365 group from inside Dynamics 365 records. The integration steps are simple. An admin can select Auto Create inside the Office 365 group section located under Dynamics 365 settings to automatically create a new group when new records, for example, opportunities or projects are created. Office Delve is provided to anyone with an Office 365 subscription and provides a way to find and discover information across the whole company. Delve uses Azure Machine Learning to create a view that is relevant to the user and adapts over time. Office Delve searches content across multiple data sources in Office 365, such as Word, Excel, OneNote, SharePoint, and user profiles. Integration with Dynamics 365 is via new dashboard component, so the users can work with Delve without leaving Dynamics 365. At present, Delve does not search Dynamics 365 content, but this is planned for future releases. To show Office Delve in Dynamics 365, you will need a subscription to Office 365 in addition to the subscription to Dynamics 365. No additional licensing is required. I also want to mention that right now, showing Office Delve in a dashboard in Dynamics 365 on-premises is not available. To enable the Delve dashboard component, you must first enable SharePoint integration and then Office Graph integration in the Dynamics 365 settings. In summary, this module tackles most of the Microsoft Online Business solutions available to be integrated with Dynamics 365. We started with Exchange, but moved through SharePoint, OneDrive, and OneNote, as well as Microsoft Social Engagement and Collaboration tools such as Skype for Business, Yammer, Office 365 Groups, and Delve. 